40. Calculate the delta G notch for each of the following reactions from the equilibrium constant at the temperature given. Okay, so we have 2 SO2 gas plus O2 gas yields 2 SO3 gas. They give me a temperature of 500 degrees Celsius. That's hot. And a Kp value of 48.2. All right, so they gave me that equilibrium constant. That's the K value, and we're looking for a delta G. Now, if they give you K values, you're searching for the Gibbs free energy, that's delta G. There basically is only one formula that you can use. Two variations, depending on which uh, variable you're solving for. But in this case, we're solving for the delta G. So it's easiest to memorize the formula as this. Delta G equals negative RT ln of K. The K value is the equilibrium constant. Now, I just wrote K here because it could be any equilibrium constant. It could have been Ka, could have been Kb, K, there is a Kc. I'm just going off the, the alphabet, right? Ka, Kb, Kc, Keq, Ksp, and Kp. So this number is 48.2. Now I just need to know what the R value and the T value is. Well, the R value is a constant number. Chances are they're not gonna give you that value. That's 8.314. Now, if we're using 8.304, which is the number that I like to use, it's in joules per mole times Kelvin. But it's in Kelvin, not Celsius, and we like units to cancel. So first thing I'm going to do is in order to put a temperature value in here, i got to convert that Celsius into Kelvin. Celsius to Kelvin, plus 273, right? More specifically, it's plus 273.15, which is what I'll do. So 500 plus 273, 773.15. Okay, cool. That's the number that's going in on here. We have all the variables. Let's write it out. Delta G equals negative is in the formula times by the 8.314 times by the temperature. So in that case, it's 773.15. And then ln of the K value, 48.2. Good thing with TI-84s is that you could plug this all into the calculator in one shot and it will do the functions properly. So let's do it. Negative 8.314 times 773.15 times, got to find the natural log button, the ln, that's over here on the left-hand side. And then I'm just going to say 48.2. You can close the parentheses. You don't have to. And then just press enter. Big number. Negative 24,900, right? Negative spontaneous. Okay. And the units for delta G would be the units that didn't cancel, which is joules per mole. But usually delta Gs are big values in joules. Chances are the unit that we are looking for is kilojoules. Even though they didn't say it's good practice to just plug it into kilojoules. Joules to kilojoules, divide by 1,000. I'm just going to take this number, divide by 1,000. You can move the decimal over three times to the left. And now I'm going to add the correct sig figs. So I used a lot of sig figs here, and this one was only three sig figs. So my answer should be three sig figs, negative 24.9. Box that answer off, and we are done. Okay, not bad. Just memorize the formula and memorize the R value. If you've noticed, we did not care about the actual equation. Nobody cares. You just needed the temp and the equilibrium constant, and that's it. Okay, stay tuned for more videos. If you guys are on the playlist, I'll talk to you in five seconds, all right? In the meantime, if you wouldn't mind pressing the subscribe button if you aren't a subscriber yet, I would really appreciate that. We're almost at 25,000 subscribers. And for everybody who has subscribed, thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate you. My brother really does appreciate you. And, you know, it's because of you guys that make this channel great. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.